Hi, today I want to show you how to calibrate a G460 gas detector uh, for, well the sensors installed actually are oxygen, carbon monoxide, H2S, uh, methane or combustible, and isobutylene. So to do this, to manually calibrate, I actually use two cylinders. So I've taken the gas detector, turned it on, let it stabilize for about five minutes or so. Readings aren't moving around. I'm looking at my gas. I'm checking the expiry date here. That's still good. Looking at the, so that's on the four gas mix with carbon dioxide, methane, oxygen, and um, balance of nitrogen. Also just hydrogen sulfide. And the other cylinder is isobutylene, 100 ppm isobutylene. Expiry date is good. So the first step in the calibration. So my, again, my monitor is turned on. That's the on and off button there. Turn it on, let it stabilize. I've got a, a pretty good battery life there. I click these two buttons quickly. It'll say AutoCal. It'll give me a choice of air, gas, or exit. If I hit air, hopefully you can see this. It's going to count down, but I'm going to get it to start doing the, the zero. So what it's doing is it's uh, the sensors are exposed to air, so it's zeroing all the sensors. The little hourglass will stay present uh, as, until the check mark shows up saying that it's, it's uh, accepted and everything worked. So we're still waiting for oxygen and methane, CH4. Okay, so we're still waiting for methane. It take a little while to stabilize. And meanwhile on the table I've got a um, 0 0.5 liter per minute regulator. It's a fixed flow regulator. Now you, some customers buy the dock station for this where you just pop this in the dock and it zeroes and uh, calibrates and all that as required. So you can see now it says everything is okay. It's it's uh, I could have hit detect and it's gone back to measuring in real time. So I'm going to take the first gas, which is the multi-gas cylinder. And the way I have this set up is when I put this cal adapter on, it's going to automatically trigger the unit to go into, well, to expect a calibration. So when I put this on, the screen switches to that auto cal screen. So I'm tightening this up. I've got the tube going in. Uh, I could turn the regulator. Well, actually, you know what? I'll go and I'll say, okay, I'm, I've already zeroed like with fresh air. So now I want to use gas. So I click gas. Or it says, are you sure? Uh, make sure that gas is applied. Continue. So I'm going to turn the gas on. I hit yes. Now it could take a while for the gas to flow. It gives you 30 second countdown, but I'm going to hit start now. And again, the way I have this set up is that um, it's calibrating it with this auto cal on the adapter. It's calling everything but the isobutylene because I don't have isobutylene in this cylinder. The isobutylene is in this cylinder. So um, so it's kind of a three-part uh, process of calibrating. First is zeroing the sensors. It zeroes, it kind of zeroes all the sensors basically. Then uh, you apply this uh, four gas mix um, and it's doing those kind of four sensors. And then the last one will be, um, the third step will be applying the isobutylene. So actually, you know, it's kind of, sorry, that's a bit misleading that during the zero, the first step, it actually calibrates the oxygen sensor. So in this case, this mix is actually doing hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, and methane. Methane is already complete with a check mark. So waiting for CO and H2S. Now if I did something wrong, I could abort this, but things going well here. Okay, so those are done. Now, if I take this off, or I turn the gas off, okay, and it's going to go into alarm because it waits for a couple minutes and then starts to detect again. So I'm going to pull this off, let this come back down. 
Now while this is going into alarm, you can also uh, put your finger over. So the sound comes out of this little hole here. So while you're calibrating, you can kind of dampen the sound a bit. Take, it comes down pretty quick though. What I'm going to do is take this regulator off this cylinder because we've calibrated all the sensors except for ice butylene, which is a it's a PID sensor basically. So ice butylene is pretty much the standard that uh, PID sensors use. So this is going to be a little bit different. We've already zeroed that. Uh, we've already zeroed the. PID sensor, but what we want to do is span it. So span is putting a known value, which is 100 ppm on that sensor. So I don't want to do this auto cal here, but what I want to do is I want to go hold down reset, actually hold it down, and I want to go into the menu here until I get to service. Now to do this, I hit select and then there's a special code you put in, it's, and it's using this button, this moves you across, this button moves you up, or gives you uh, like um, increments in numbers. So I hit it once at zero. I want to put in one, one. So when it goes to one, I click it in the middle, move it to here, put in a zero, zero. So it's one, one, zero, zero. That puts me into the service menu. And I want to go to this, the sensor I want to calibrate. So oxygen is highlighted. I move it over, go to IC Beetle, and I select that. Now this gives me specific menu for that sensor. Now I could zero it again, which isn't, I mean, I already did it, like in that uh, first step. So I don't need to do that, but I want to calibrate it. So I go down to calibrate and hit select. It, it says cal gas 100. Now, if I had a different cal gas value, I could hit gas and change the value. Um, so what I want to do is I want to turn on the gas. Okay, so I start my flow of gas. Might take a couple of seconds for it to make it to the unit. I hit start. Okay, and you'll see, um, I can see that the isobutylene gas is uh, flowing over the sensor. and I can watch it come up. So what the unit's gonna do is it's going to, um, it knows the calibration gas is 100. It's going to read it and wait for the reading to stabilize. And when it stabilizes, then it will lock in the calibration. And actually, as we go, it's important we do this, it will accept the calibration. Then as you're going out, it's gonna ask you to accept any changes. You wanna make sure you do that. That kind of, that actually officially locks it in as a calibration. So there's, okay, so it says okay. Okay, and now I can exit and I can turn the gas off. And I'll actually probably uh, take this off. So when I exit again, I'll just show you this now. So I'm just exiting out. When I get f far enough back, when I go to hit detect here, save new adjustment, and I want to hit yes. If I hit no, it deletes anything that I had just worked on. Okay, so I'll take this off. It's gonna take a little while for the readings to roll back down and the readings to stabilize. But that's, that's basically how you would do a manual calibration on this type of monitor, G460 gas detector.